Hi guys, um, we, welcome to a video just to show you how to refill your Kaylee's edible ink, edible ink cartridges. Um, the first thing to tell you is that it's so important to put the correct amount of ink in each cartridge. So this is the 580, which is the large black, and this takes 20 mils of ink, and I'm going to show you how to fill this one. And for the purpose of the video, I'll just tell you the amounts the smaller one takes so the magenta takes 10 mils the cyan takes 10 mils the yellow takes 10 mils and the little black which is the 581 black takes 10 mils so basically all of the smaller cartridges out of the set take 10 mils and a large cartridge takes 20 mils simply because it's double the size now when you fill the cartridges, it's important that there's ink at the bottom. When you have refilled the cartridge, it, it's so important that you've put the right amount, I know I've said that before, in each cartridge, because when the cartridge is being set up, it needs to have a certain amount of cartridge, ink in the cartridge to set up in the first time, because the ink has to work its way down through the ink tubes, so that it's in a perfect position to work and give you the, the maximum quality in your printing. So what I'll do is, I'll show you, this is the 580. Like I said, we're gonna put 20 mils of ink in it. And another thing to remember is, so for example, this, this syringe has five mils. So you'd have to use five or four, four times five. So four syringes full. Um, and for the smaller ones, two. But sometimes you maybe have a 10 mil syringe. And of course, then you would just have, use one or two and so on. So this one is five, so I'm gonna put, do this four times into this. And it's important as well to do it really slow because it gives the, the cartridge enough time to suck up the ink. So step one is to remove this yellow, this yellow sticker. So you pull that off nice and steady and make sure it's all coming off. I, I like to do it, just make sure, and make sure there's nothing covering, there's a hole now here that has been, the, that, yellow was covering that so we've taken that off and what that allows is for airflow to so that this can now suck upwards the sponge so we take out the plug also and again it's important to put the the plugs back in the crack cartridges so what we'll do is just nice and slowly we'll suck up five mils of ink so there you go so we'll put that in and we tilt forward. And you can see the ink is going in there. So we have had customers in the past just put one syringe full and there's no way that can work because it's just not enough ink. So we'll go again. Again, we tilt nice and steady and you'll see this kind of striping that's perfectly normal it's just that the the cartridge hasn't got enough ink in it so we'll go again again we go up another five so this is going to be the third one which is 15. so and there you go so this is the last one. If you can see now, the ink is starting to fill the, the tank at the back because this sponge has got nearly enough ink, so it won't suck as much because the sponge is fairly full. So we'll put that in there. And again, we're tilting. Tilting, tilting. Nice and steady. And you can leave that for a few minutes and you can even see that the sponge is changing quick now. Again, just tilt and I'm perfectly happy with that. And what we do is we replace our plug and that cartridge is perfectly ready to go in your printer and ready for the first setup. You can always add a small bit more, but just from years of experience, I always find the 20 is the perfect amount. 
And when you want to re refill it, or a lot of people just top up, if you think you've done a little bit, you can see where it was. Just top up, maybe put another five mils when this goes down, and or just wait till it runs out. And when your cartridges run out, it basically starts, the printing fades, and you can start this process again. And like I said, these smaller cartridges, they take 10 mils. Thank you very much.